This is the New Zealand dollar currently on the 60. We have a low and tight flag and I've used a five minute entry. I'm just going to talk through the entry on this trade. So um, I'm looking at the market coming lower here, as you can see. I'm looking at it coming down to uh, around about this level, maybe even a little lower. Let's go to the 240. Uh, we had a directional move higher. Uh, a pullback, a move higher. I was hoping for a head and shoulders. We didn't get that. What the market has been doing, if I move this structure level up to here, the last candle was a lower, low, lower close. Let's go to the 15. And here, um, let me just go back actually, sorry, to the 60. Okay, this is what we had, was a low and tight flag. So we had a directional move. And then we have this trend line and if we duplicate it to move it up we're looking for a minimum of four touches one two three four we actually had another touch up here and then a final touch before we broke out of the trend line now if we look left and I put a structure level on where this formed it did not form at structure okay and for me even though we are now down at this structure level the fact is the pattern formed before the structure level so I'm looking at the continuation lower. Uh, that's the way I look at these otherwise um, you're always going to be at some form of structure. So looking for a 127 extension, sorry just ignore that, 127 extension. Uh, so we're looking from our swing, uh, our first touch there to our swing high. We're looking for that 127 nope not that one 127 and if we move the charts up then there's around uh, 20 pips up for grabs here I'm just going to drop to the five though because we're actually in trend now breakout patterns I do say if you don't get your entry drop down to the lower time frames because very often these are breakout patterns and we break out with force and that means we usually enter trend and here on the five we had a move lower a pullback a move lower so this was the outside return just here anywhere in the outside return we can look for the second chance entry which is a lower low lower close candle which is what we've got ATR is just three but I've actually gone five pips above the high here and looking at playing for that 127 minus a few pips if I zoom out a little bit so you can see this just there so in terms of the risk and reward then well we're looking at 10 because it's so small I'm going to give it an extra pip so we're going to be looking at 11 for a reward of 24 and we're back for the update on this trade and it has now gone on to win. We actually came up and tapped my stop loss literally to the pip. Uh, but with the low spread that we have with the New Zealand dollar, it held and we rolled over nicely there to hit for plus 24 pips. Uh, a nice little win. I needed that after the last couple of weeks I've had. 24 pips banked.